Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video I wanted just to show you my new 2022 Ford Bronco. This is the Big Ben trim. Um, I, now in purchasing this Bronco meant I did trade in my Ranger. I love that truck, had a lot of fun with that truck, made a lot of videos with that truck. But I wanted to switch to an SUV and since I do a lot of uh, camera and video work, do some you know weddings and uh, like event videography and photography, uh, as well as astrophotography, uh, even though a truck is very capable, the the Ranger in particular, one of the one things I disliked was the rear seat area, and I made a video on it. Um, it was one of my more popular videos on the Ranger, how to take your rear seats out. And I'm gonna have to do this one-handed and take out, out my ND filter here and show you guys. But the nice thing about the Bronco here is that the seat folds flat, or not quite flat, but flatter than the Rangers. And if you own a Ranger, you know. This folds a lot more flat so I can set more gear on, but then even so it's got split seating here. So even if I put more gear in bags here, cause I can easily fit tripods, uh, you know, luggage bags and stuff for a trip, I still can sit another passenger. Uh, my recent passenger likes to lean back. So she put the, put the seat all the way back, but still there's plenty of leg room here. Um, even when having these seats folded flat and for example here I've got like a duffel bag and one of my camera bags I can still fit a tripod back here and leave these up now like I said this is the big bend trim let me get my ND filter back in here uh, this is the big bend trim which is on the base side of things it's a lower level of trim now I did opt for the mid package and the mid package gives you a lot of things kind of the, those creature comforts that um, I had in my lariat ranger because in the Lariat Ranger, I had leather heated seats. These are cloth, as you can see, but they, the, the mid package gives you the heated seats, the dual climate control. I did add the signature LED lighting and I absolutely love them. Uh, I, think, um, I think these lights look better. Also love this Big Bend grill, this carbonized gray grill. It looks really good with this Area 51 blue. Um, so I'm gonna talk about ordering real quick. Now I purchased, the, purchased this through AutoNation Ford in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, they didn't ask me to make a video or not sponsored or anything, but uh, I ordered on the last day uh, that you could do orders. I ordered after lunch on the last day and I got my Bronco in actually about three weeks ago in uh, late August. I don't remember the exact day, but that's not a bad time frame. Now, again, this is a base model. It actually has an open rear differential, the 2.3 liter EcoBoost. So there's not a lot of, you know, build constraints on here, but I only had to wait about five months from ordering to, uh, to receiving my Bronco. The dealership that I worked with didn't have any surprises. There was no markups, no ADMs on it. Absolutely was an easy, uh, painless process. Highly recommend if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and you're looking to order a Ford, check out AutoNation Ford. Uh, they did an awesome job on uh, getting me my Bronco here. Now, another reason that I bought more of the base model, you know, this big bend, trim and like I said I like the creature comforts and stuff but I wanted to kind of build it up as my own now there's no doubt that the Sasquatch package which comes uh, factory with front and rear lockers 35s uh, bead lock capable uh, wheels uh, 35 inch mud tires awesome package you get your warranty everything that's great but I mean if you follow my channel I do like to make things on my own and customize things and work on my own uh, vehicles and when it comes to suspension warranties i'm not too terribly concerned um you know i i i don't mind being kind of a test uh test bed or a guinea pig for some of the new products out there and i i i really think that this is a platform that a lot of people that had bought you know a lot of people had bought these lower end trims so that they could get theirs quicker so i kind of want to show people how you can uh, order it or how you can get it and, and build it up as your own as you go because that really makes the vehicle more fun and enjoyable uh, as it is anyway now the first mod that i've actually done and sorry it is hot out here we've had beautiful weather in the 80s and now it decided to be 98 the day that i decided to make this video um, the first mod that i did is i actually have full ppf well full ppf on everything but the tailgate and i'll have that done in a couple weeks on the entire vehicle here it's a SunTech Ultra PPF. It's got a 10 year warranty and it was done by Performance Clear Brawl here in Fort Worth, Texas. They did an awesome job. There are a few uh, air bubble spots here. I don't know if you can see them. My 
lenses in the way here. There's a few air bubble spots, but in my experience, because like, every vehicle I've had has at least had a front clear bra on it, those will go away after a few days. And if not, they'll, they'll take a syringe or they'll fix it. I'm not too terribly worried about that. But yeah, the plan here for really for my Bronco for now um, is I actually got a set of takeoff um, Bilstein, uh, the Bilstein uh, Badland shocks. That'll give this about a 0.67 of an inch lift, but also have some spring purchase um, from, don't remember the company actually, it's not RPG Off-Road, they make some, but there's another company, I've got a, like a one and a quarter inch leveling perch for these. So I'll have roughly close, close to uh, just under two inches of lift on this. I'm going to put, even though I love, I actually really like these wheels, the color just looks better in person than it does in photos and videos hate these tires. I mean, they're not bad, but I don't really like them. Um, I'm going to put my Motegi MR150 wheels, those beautiful bronze wheels that I had on my Ranger. I kept those. I'm going to put those Motegis on here. And I'm for the short time being, I'm going to rock this Ranger with that, with that small, you know, just under two inch lift and 33s. I think that'll give me a nice capable rig that's very similar to my Ranger. Again, I've got, I'm going to have an open rear diff, but that's fine because the plan for me is to do a ARB air locker in the rear because it basically has a Dana uh, 44 rear and or M220 rear. Um, I'm going to need to air lock the rear and for the front eventually what I'm planning on doing is upgrading to Ford's M2 or rather Dana Spicer's uh, M210 and uh, which comes on standard on the Sasquatch. For the most part to up this this front end here on the uh, lower end trims of the Bronco like mine comes with the M190 which is the same uh, front axle that it was on my Ranger and it's I, I, a lot of people are concerned about you know grenading it and everything and really I think your CVs are going to go first as long as you're not locking it up well it doesn't have a locker so really your CVs are probably going to be your weak point and go first and that could be you know fixed by you know going with either Dana aftermarket ones or RCV performance uh, CV axles but I think I'm going to try to uh, swap this, that front end out with that M210. For the most part, from what I understand, it is, I wouldn't say a direct swap. You have to change out your CVs. The, there's a, a intermediate drive shaft or a front drive shaft that you got to remove and basically get the Sasquatch drive shaft, Sasquatch uh, CVs, and then uh, the, you know, the, M, the M210 front but that'll give you a beefier, stronger front. And the plan is eventually once my, cause I'm using the same tires that were on my Ranger. I just kept them cause they still got about a good, probably 25, 30,000 miles left on them is to upgrade to those. And then eventually upgrade to 35s and probably do uh, closer to a, a two and a quarter inch lift with some, probably some bigger perch collars in the front and rear to level things out. But yeah, so this is my 2022 Big Ben Bronco. Uh, so far, put about 600 miles on it, and I'm absolutely enjoying it. It's a blast. Really, it, even as stock, it's it's. I'm having fun driving it. People uh, people turning their heads when they see it because there's still not a ton of these out on the road. Um, but yeah, I really love this Bronco, and I look forward to upgrading it and making it my own. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe, and thank you guys for watching.